I'll be discussing about OECD guidelines for in multinational enterprises. OECD stands for Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. The OECD guidelines for multinational enterprises are recommendations on responsible business conduct addressed by governments to multinational enterprises. The task of the Organization for Economic Development and Cooperation is to promote and harmonize economic growth and free trade among its member countries and to enhance social well-being. It is responsible for business conduct means that all companies take account for their own economic, social and environmental impacts. The guidelines was approved in the year 1976 and latest updates were published in 2011. Finland is an OECD member and in 1976, it undertook to comply with the guidelines when it approved the OECD Declaration on International Investment and Multinational Enterprises, as the guidelines are covered by the declaration. The themes of the OECD guidelines are employment and industrial relations, human rights, disclosure of information on business activities, the environment, combating bribe, solicitation and extortion, consumer interest, competition, taxation, and science and technology. The aims of the OECD guidelines are to ensure that multinational enterprises operate in line with common policies to reinforce trust between various parties and to promote foreign investment and sustainable development. The OECD guidelines are the only guidelines on responsible business conduct that have an inbuilt complaints mechanism and are approved by government. The guidelines relating to general policies. In their activities, multinational enterprises should comply with domestic laws and regulations. Enterprises should take into account, prevent and mitigate negative impacts in regard to human rights, workers' rights, the environment and corruption. The guidelines concerns both the operations of enterprises themselves and those of supply chains. Disclosure of information on business activities. Multinational enterprises are expected to publish information on their business activities and financial performance on a regular and transparent basis. This allows enterprises to demonstrate that they take the aims of the guidelines seriously. Guidelines relating to human rights. Governments have an obligation to protect human rights, which are the rights that apply equally to all people. Multinational enterprises to respect human rights. They are expected to find ways to prevent and mitigate negative impacts on human rights and to take corrective action in the case of negative impacts on human rights that have already occurred. Employment and industrial relations. The guidelines are relating to multinational enterprises should respect the right of the workers and engage in cooperation with the workers' representatives. This means, for instance, the workers must have the right to join trade unions if they wish. Furthermore, enterprises are urged to combat discrimination, child labor, and forced and compulsory labor. Guidelines relating to environment. Multinational enterprises are urged to prevent and mitigate negative impacts on the environment. Negative impacts on the environment can also be a risk to human health. Environmental protection can be seen as both an obligation and a business opportunity. Combating bribery, bribe solicitation, and extortion. Multinational enterprises have a key role to play in the fight against corruption and bribery. This could take the form of, for example, action plans for internal control and ethical conduct. Guidelines relating to consumer interest. Multinational enterprises should observe fair and honest marketing practices and ensure that their products and services are safe and of high or superior quality. Science and technology. Multinational enterprises have an impact on economic and social development by spreading new technologies around the world. They also have an important role in the development of innovations. Relating to competition, enterprises must comply with the applicable competition laws and refrain from actions that restrict competition. 
This will promote the operation of the market and economic growth. Guidelines relating to taxation. It is essential that multinational enterprises contribute to the funding of general government finances in their host countries by paying their taxes promptly and appropriately. The guidelines emphasize that enterprise should act in accordance with the spirit and let of the tax regulations in their countries of operations. So these are the guidelines relating to OECD.